Hello everybody! In our previous video we gave you an overview of what Medieval Dynasty is all about. We showed what we wanted to create and which direction we want to go into. Thanks to your comments and feedback about the video, we want to continue the series and make another video. And this time it's about all the city building aspect and management. Today we want to show you how you can build and manage your settlements in Medieval Dynasty. Let's go! At the beginning of your journey, you will only have the basics available to you. And you will realize that in order to survive, you will need shelter. At first, you will have a basic hut to sleep in. It will be enough to keep you warm from the winter's cold and rain, but it's far from a settlement. Soon you will stumble on other people who also seek refuge. And that means that your settlement will need to grow. And with a growing population, there are more and more needs that you need to satisfy. People will want more than just a roof over their heads and a place to sleep. One of the first things that you will need to be mindful of is food. The nearby forests are a great place to find wild game. Deer, rabbits, boars, they are a great source of food and substance. And you can use their skin for clothing too. And although the forest is full of these creatures, be wary as wolfers also stake their claim to the territory. Going out and hunting is a great way to bring food but you will eventually want your settlement to be self-reliant too. You will be able to build farm buildings and keep animals such as pigs, cows and chickens. And of course, you can cultivate the land around you, planting crops such as wheat and then when it's ready, gather and turn it into bread and other produce. There are many ways to keep yourself and your people fed. But remember, when the sun is out and it's warm outside, worries go away. But as soon as winter comes, your field will be bare and new sources of food will be harder to come by. That's when building food storage and stocking up for those hard days is essential. As your settlement grows, you will be able to produce not just food, but other goods and items too. You will be able to build places like the smithy, where your blacksmith can produce tools and weapons, a sewing house, where clothes from wool and leather can be made and stored, keeping your people warm in winter months. You can work also as a forester, Cutting trees in the nearby forest, giving you the precious resource of wood. As you grow, other buildings will be available, such as a quarry and mine. These two buildings will allow you to extract stone and iron, commodities that you will need if you want to evolve and grow. And of course, there will be a tavern. So that's the point of all when you had a hard day of work. These are just some examples of the buildings that we will have in our game. They will also be upgradable. The settlement will start off as a wooden village, but over time it can develop to a stone-built town. But in order for your settlement to grow and have all these places at your disposal, you will need to balance its economy. Make sure you have the right resources for growth such as food, shelter, clothing, wood, rock and more. And of course, you will need enough people that can keep your town and its economy alive and growing. After all, without people, the settlement will fall. You can't be a leader if there is no one there to lead. We hope that you enjoyed this glimpse into how the city building component will work in our game. If you have any other question about this topic or others, just post it down below. Stay tuned to our social media channels and follow us on Steam. Until next time, peace out, stay healthy and bye bye.